What's up everyone? So I am going camping this weekend. I'm super excited. And right now it is Friday morning. Um, it's probably about like 10, 15 in the morning. I woke up at 6.30. We are going camping in Ariel, Colorado. It's a beautiful space. It's just like this giant mountain. Um, and so you can, there's a bunch of different places that you can set up on it. And it's not like camping grounds. There's no like public toilets or public showers or anything like that. You don't have to pay to stay there. It's nice to feel like I'm officially thawing after this long winter. We should get to packing. Here I have just two pairs of jean shorts. This is a pair that I made from my old jeans that just didn't really like fit and kind of were losing their shape, but they somehow made really good shorts. And then over here, I just have two Hawaiian shirts, um, but they're really breathable material too. So in the middle, I just have um, a bra, three pairs of socks, and three pairs of underwear. And then over here, I have just like a pair of leggings and some sweats and um, the leggings and the sweats I'm probably gonna layer when I go to sleep. Over here is my thermal. I got it from Uniqlo. So I actually got it when I was in London. Their quality is amazing. They use like, they call it Japanese heat technology. They honestly work so well. Um, it's just a regular sweater, but I cropped it. It's just a super cozy thing that I could layer on. So yeah, that's all I'm bringing. So I am now going to make some um, DIY bug spray, but I hate the feeling of like how greasy bug spray is, and especially when you don't have access to a shower, it's super annoying. I wanna try out just making my own bug spray and using essential oils because A, they smell a lot better, and B, I'm hoping that this just feels a lot better and sits better on the skin. But the recipe is super, super simple. So all I have here is just a spray bottle, and I'm just reusing the bottle. So you need a carrier oil, so it suggested like sweet almond oil or something like that, um, but I decided to go with jojoba oil. And then it also said um, witch hazel or vodka, and I don't have witch hazel, but I do have vodka, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. I also have these three essential oils. So um, these are all from Art Naturals. This is a tea tree essential oil, and then this is a peppermint essential oil. And then this one here, um, I ran out of my Art Naturals lavender oil, but I found a um, local shop near me that actually is just a lavender shop so they have like teas and aromatherapy and room sprays that are all made from like this one lavender farm that they own which was so cool so this recipe is actually super simple you start with a half teaspoon of carrier oil and again i have the jojoba then you throw in a half teaspoon of vodka or witch hazel whichever one you decided to use then you put in a tablespoon and a half of distilled water and then 15 to 25 drops of whichever essential oils you choose which again I have the tea tree, the peppermint, and the lavender. We were away from the campsite, I often used other people's bug spray so this wasn't the only thing that I used but I only got bit three times and I actually used this spray as kind of a soothing spray and honestly it worked amazingly. I sprayed it once on one of my bug bites, rubbed it in a little bit, went to sleep and when I woke up it was completely this gone, it wasn't red or swollen or anything. And I think my food might have just gotten here. I'm gonna go grab that and have lunch. Caprese panini with a, I guess they just gave me like a surprise Waldorf salad on the side, so exciting. Hello again, so I am just packing my toiletries now. I'm just gonna get the last minute things like the food out of the fridge and all of that, and then we'll be on our way pretty soon. My heart's beating so fast because I feel like I'm gonna be late on this, and I really wanna get there and fully set up camp before it like gets completely dark. So, long day ahead of us. Let me show you my toiletries. This is quite a spread I have amassed here. So this is 
just some body oil. It was the smallest like lotion bottle I had. Um, so I have this deodorant, um, contact stuff, face moisturizer with like SPF, toothbrush, comb, toothpaste. Um, normally I don't bring any makeup stuff, but I'm gonna try it this time. I also am bringing baby wipes. Actually, just give myself like a full body wipe down before I sleep in the tent for the night. Also brought face wash um, and of course my bug spray that I just made. So I'm probably gonna see if I can fit most of it in here um, and if not I will grab these extra little bags that just don't have drawstrings and pack the stuff in there. start loading the car and charging my camera battery so that I can vlog this trip with you guys. So I just have obviously my tennis shoes. I packed up all of the clothes and my winter jacket and stuff in this bag. Um, obviously my sunglasses I'm going to wear on the drive. These are two pillows. We just have a bunch of extra pillows around specifically for camping so we don't have to ruin our actual pillows. Putting some of the other smaller bags of toiletries in this red bag right here. And then in this white bag, I'm going to put my camera stuff. This is the journal that I use for my video planning. It's The Artist's Way, which is a book that I'm reading now. And then I was going to bring a novel, but I don't know. I just felt like reading some like psychology and psychoanalysis type of books. So I also got this Love and Its Place in Nature by Jonathan Lear, which I read a couple of um, passages from this for one of the psychoanalysis classes that I took and it is so good so I wanted to do that and then um, I'm having this awkward problem where I filled up my other journal with all my morning pages so I have a new journal for morning pages but um, my habit tracker for the month of May is still in my other old journal with so I had to bring that to Over here we just have three, oh we have two lawn chairs and then this red little rolled up thing is our tent. It's great to have a table when you're camping. Over here um, we just have some food stuff, so like some hot dog buns and trail mix and s'mores stuff and then obviously the cooler. Yay! It is so freaking hot out there. I tried to do the leggings thing but I just could not handle it. And exciting news, I just got my new swimsuit in the mail, so it's like a one piece, it's like this fun tropical print. I really wanted just like an all black or an all red like classic one, but I couldn't find any that had like a good shape, so um, I'm running out of time. It's 3.30 now, so I'm about to leave my house, but um, I just wanted to show you that. Thank you all so much for watching. I will put up where you can follow me here. I really hope that you enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to vlogging the rest of my trips this summer with you.